hello guys and welcome to another premiere pro tutorial in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to create this 3d website scroll effect in premiere pro so the first thing i'm going to do is to create a new color mate so i'm going to come over to this new item over here and select it and select color mate and then i'm going to hit ok now i'm going to choose a color any color you choose is fine select it and hit ok hit ok once more now I'm going to drag this color mate onto my timeline over here and let me zoom in a little bit. Now the next thing I'm going to do is to come over to this website over here and I'm going to type in my own website or you can use any website you like and hit capture and this is going to give me a full capture of that website but I'm not going to do this now because I already have that image in my download. So all you need to do is to come over to this website full page screen capture, put in a URL and it will help you capture the entire screen. So like I said, I'm going to move over to my download to get the capture of that website from my download and drag it into Premiere Pro. So the first thing I'm going to do is to right click and hit on Nest to nest it and hit OK. And I'm going to double click on that nested sequence over here and select it. Now move over to Effects Control. Make sure that it's the full screen that is covered and scroll it up till you can reveal the top of the website. Now I'm going to go back to my main sequence over here and duplicate this nested sequence by holding down Alt and dragging it one step up or you can hold down Option if you're on Mac. Next I'm going to select this top nested layer over here and go over to Scale and reduce the value down to 50 and move it up a bit and select the bottom nested clip also and reduce the scale also to 50 and move over to the effects library and search for the transform effect and add the transform effect on my bottom clip over here and move over to the effects control over here and turn off uniform scale and we are going to change the scale height on that transform to minus 100 which is going to flip the image around to mirror it now I'm going to scroll up to motion over here and I'm going to scroll down the height so that it just matches and then I'm going to go down to opacity and drop down the opacity to maybe 55 or 40 percent. Next, scroll back to the effects library and search for the linear wipe effect and drag this linear wipe effect onto the bottom clip and scroll down to effects control and set the transition completion to 50 and change the wipe angle to zero. Next thing I'm going to do is to highlight the both nested clip over here, right click and nest them once more. Next, I'm going to select it and I'm going to add some 3D effects to it. To do this, I'm going to move over to Effects Library and search for the basic 3D effect and place it on top of my nested clip over here. And now I'm going to move over to the Effects Control and under the basic 3D, the swivel, I'm going to adjust the swivel a little bit to one side. And so you can do it as you like. You can go as high as reversing it. So what I want to do is just to leave it as maybe something like on this value. And I'm going to scroll up back to motion and move the position to one side maybe I'm going to drop it down a little bit and now we can begin to animate the website to scroll down to do that double click on the nested clip and also double click on the top nested clip over here and move over to the effects library here and search for the transform effect and apply it to this clip and move over to effects control and scroll down under the transform property you want to check off the use composition shutter and set your shutter angle to 180 degrees and scroll up to position under transform and somewhere a little bit forward let me drag this so you can see it clearer and somewhere around the one second mark you can add um keyframe to position and move further in time and you can adjust the position to where you like it to end so i'm just going to adjust the position of this uh, website to scroll to whatever position i want it to end um, now, for example, if you want it to go to the entire website, you can make it end to the end, but I want it to stop somewhere around here so that um, these images are visible. So I'm going to drag this somewhere. Okay, let me make it stop here. Now, if we go back to our main sequence here and hit play, you can see the animations that we have created. And that's it, guys, on how to create this 3D page scroll effect in Premiere Pro.